Now that the MSYS2 system is installed in Windows and we have the new shell, let's install and configure Visual Studio Code to make use of these. Go to your browser, search for Visual Studio Code and click on the link code.visualstudio.com. Click download and choose the Windows version. Open install, click yes, accept the license agreement, next, next and install. It is now installed, by clicking finish it automatically launches. We are now greeted by the welcome screen of Visual Studio Code. At the top we see all the menu items, at the left we see the activity bar that contains the explorer for the files, and search, source control for git, run for the debugger, and via extensions we can install support for C, C++ and Fortran. At the bottom we see an icon for the accounts, and via manage we can access the settings. One setting which we would like to change is that if you click on Terminal, New Terminal, we get the Windows PowerShell. We would like to use the CSH shell. Menace, Settings, and Search for Terminal Shell Windows. Which we find over here, Terminal Integrated Shell Windows. The default is set to the PowerShell. Note that in the specification of the path, here you have single backslashes, but once we added this in the settings.json, what we need to specify are double backslashes. So here you can set the value of terminal integrated shell windows to our CSH shell from the M62 system. Another option which we need to set are the arguments which we give to the shell. So we can see here shell arguments, edit in settings. And we're going to set this to minus i. And that means that the shell will always be started in interactive mode. Test terminal, new terminal. So I did start the shell, but there's an issue with the font. And also none of the commands inside the MSYS2 system are found. That is because we need to set the path variable. Go back to settings. And here we see terminal integrated environment windows. Click on edit in settings. And we can see the string that we actually need to set. Inside here, we can specify the path. So let's do that. Note that we specify the path with forward slashes, and that is because we set the path inside the MSYS2 system. We set it to all the directories of the MSYS2. Let's test new terminal with mkd which GCC, they now found. So the compilers are specified in Ming 64 bin, that is the first directory. Many of the commands are in user bin or in bin, and you can see them listed here, as well as user local bin, which is often used for local binaries. Note that if you open the terminal, <coughs> that the default directory where it opens is slash C, and then the Windows path name. That means that the terminal opens in the home directory of the Windows. The way to specify a directory in MSYS2 of the Windows site is slash C and then the path in Windows. That means in the path we can also set that the C Windows directory is accessible, Windows System32, and also the directory of the Windows PowerShell is in the path. So this now works. The thing to fix is the font, so let's do that first. Go back to the settings, terminal, font, and at the top we can see terminal integrated font family. Let's choose the SFMono powerline that we used in the previous video. As soon as you specify that, you can see that the fonts now work. The last thing to fix is that if you type something in like this, 
it seems that I'm typing very fast, but what I'm actually typing is ls space u tab l o tab. That is called tab completion. What does not work by default is that the Windows site is also expanded. We can set that, so we need to go to the CSHRC. And in this file, we need to specify a line to make that available to us. That is setting the C style and the completion for the C drive. So once you specify this line, save it, run a new terminal. You can see that auto completion also works for files on the Windows drives. We're now done. In the next video, we're going to install all the files and all the extensions that we need for the support of C and C++. In the video after that, we will do that for Fortran.